Hey guys, it's me, Lily and Joelle, and we are on day number 15 of 31 days to taming your tongue, minding your mouth, watching your words, whatever you need it to be. That's what we're doing until we get to our desired results. You guys know I am super excited to share this word, but I just want to um, start by saying I had to change the scripture for today. I don't remember what it was. However, I know that we went over that scripture previously in another lesson. So now um, the title is still the same, but the scripture that we're going to use is Proverbs 12 and 22 of the New Living Translation. And the title is Stop Lying, right? Great title. Yes, indeedy. So look, here's the scripture. It says, the Lord detests lying lips, but he delights in those who tell the truth. Wow. That is a great scripture. Of course it is. Glory to God. Now, unfortunately, lying is probably and has been a temptation for many of us, right? I believe that many people struggle with lying. And I know I have. But let's start by putting in the comments section, if you've ever lied. Now, everybody will probably fill that up because we all, I believe, have lied. And if you haven't, God bless you. That is awesome. Now, some people may say, well, I didn't intentionally lie. But guess what? A lie is a lie, whether intentional or not intentional. It's still a lie. So let's be honest in the comments and write down whether or not you've been in a position where you've lied before. Come on, already know you're delivered, but we're helping those that are going through this journey with us. This is really good. I love this lesson. Now let's think about it. In some instances, it seems as if it's easiest if we do lie, right? To lie our way out of a situation and not admit the truth, right? But we all know that that rarely does leave us with any positive results. Lying never produces positive results. It often leads to hurt or mistrust, right? And an endless cycle of more and more lies because you have to lie to cover up a lie, right? We know that God does not want that for his people. He doesn't want us lying. He says that he detests lying lips. And detest means to dislike something intensely. Wow. And often with disgust and intolerance. Do you want God to want to see you like that? Of course not. No one wants God to see us uh, with disgust. Not at all. Glory to God. Listen, in John 8 and 44, the Bible says that Satan is the father of lies. And when we allow ourselves to lie, guess who we're following? Satan. And that's not what we should be doing. As believers, we're supposed to be led by Holy Spirit, right? And in John 10, 27, Jesus says that we will know his voice, right? And follow him. Glory to God. We should never follow Satan. Every time you think about a lie or even think about lying in the past, you say to yourself, Dad, I was used by Satan. Yes, we all have. Glory to God. But thank God for part B of this scripture. I'm telling you. God says, but he delights in those who tell the truth. And that's you and I now. We tell the truth. When we tell the truth, the Bible says that God is delighted in us, right? He gets extreme satisfaction. He gets pleasure and joy. You know why? Because we're telling the truth. Glory to God. It's imperative for us to repent from lying. In the book of Revelation, did you know it said that all liars are going to hell? That's not where you want to spend eternity, right? Of course not. So we have to repent from lying. God can help us from lying. You know how? He said in Philippians 4 and 13 that we can do all things through Christ who gives us strength. That's a scripture to meditate on. That we can do all things through Christ who gives us strength. So think about this for a moment. You're in a conversation and you found yourself about to lie, right? Just think back. There was a way of escape. You want to know why? Because in 1 Corinthians 10, 13, the Bible says that he will not allow us to be tempted beyond what we're able to bear. And when we are tempted, he has already provided us a way of escape. He's already provided that way of escape. 
So guess what? When you were in that conversation, this is what happened. You found yourself ready to lie. And guess what the person said? Tell the truth. That was your way of escape. You get it? Tell the truth. Those three little words, tell the truth. That was your way of escape because God says that he will always give us a way of escape. Glory to God. It is always in our best interest to tell the truth. We want to always, I repeat, always be in a position where we're pleasing God. So the next time you're in a conversation and Satan is trying to tell you, he's on the shoulder trying to tell you to say something that you already know is a lie, this is what you need to do. Just turn around and be like, stop lying, right? Stop lying. Glory to God. That was a great lesson. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that we refuse to lie. We choose to use our tongues to give you pleasure and to speak the truth always. Satan is a defeated foe and he has no power over us. Our tongues were created to speak words of truth and we detest lying just like you do. And we believe we receive when we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Glory to God. So guys, this is day 16, 15, I repeat, day 15. And I hope you enjoyed day 15 of the 31 days of taming your tongue. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Love thumbs up. Yes. So if the content that I'm sharing has been good for you as well, do me a favor and subscribe to my channel. In addition, you can um, share my channel with your friends and family. I would love, love, love for you to do that. And then if you want to know when I upload my videos and this series, of course, I'm uploading at 8 a.m. each and every day. I decree that in Jesus name. But if you want to know when I'm when I am uploading other videos, just feel free to hit the notification button and select all. And then you will be notified when all of my videos are uploaded. So that's all I have for you now. Thank you so much for being a part of the 31 Days to Taming Your Tongue. And remember, tame that tongue. See ya!